Uh, uh, today's topic is uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, the most common name used is uh, blood clot in the lungs, you know. Uh, pulmonary embolism uh, describes the blockage of pulmonary artery or one of its branches uh, by blood clot or foreign material. The risk factors for the blood clot uh, uh, thrombus uh, that travels to the lung uh, include prolonged immobilization, you know, medications including birth control pills, smoking, genetic uh, uh, predisposition, an increased number of red blood cells, cancer, pregnancy, surgery, or damage to the blood vessel walls, you know. The symptoms of uh, pulmonary embolism include like uh, chest pain, uh, shortness of breath, a cough that uh, sometimes produces uh, bloody sputum, fast heart rate and anxiety. And if it's not treated pro uh, uh, promptly, pulmonary embolism may lead to sudden death, you know. And the diagnosis of uh, pulmonary embolism um, uh, may be difficult to make and uh, initially may be missed, you know. So diagnostic strategies need to be individualized to each patient and the situation. Uh, now the anticoagulation medication is the treatment uh, for pulmonary embolism. So these are the medicines that these are used to uh, uh, blood thinning medicines. You know, they call blood thinning medicines. And uh, you need uh, this treatment for a long time, maybe for three to six months, you know. Now, prevention is the best treatment for pulmonary embolism, so which can be accomplished by minimizing the risk factors of uh, deep vein uh, thrombosis, also known as DVT. Thank you. Goodbye.